When I think about setting up an analytics program, uh, a couple things come to mind. The first one uh, might surprise folks. I think you need to invest in organizational support outside of marketing. This includes your board of directors, this includes senior management, the chief executive officer, and the other, uh, if you will, C-suite executives, your business unit colleagues and your, your finance uh, CFO and your, your information officer. Uh, this is because ultimately you're going to affect the way that hundreds of millions of dollars are spent and what you ask people to do. Uh, for example, with my board of directors, when, when, as I mentioned, we're spending hundreds of millions on promotional activity, uh, when times get a little tough, that's the first thing people want to cut. Hey, call the marketing guy, cut his ad budget. Um, what we were able to do is show the board that over the last four years in my category, the competitive spend has increased by 60, 60, 60%. Uh, and while I didn't get any more marketing dollars, we've stayed flat on dollars. We've actually increased demand generation and we've increased the quality of the generation. Uh, all of what I just said was borne out and was proven by the marketing analytics and without those tools, I'm not sure I would have prevailed. The other things you need to do is then build the support inside of marketing. This has two main pieces. So you get the outside support. Inside, you invest in people, you invest in technology, and you invest in data. Uh, make no mistake, I use the word invest uh, deliberately because it will cost money and you have to believe it's going to pay off in the decision making. Speaking of decision making, that's the third point. As a marketer, you have to think about your own marketing organization because the whole goal of marketing analytics is to change the way decisions get made, make them better. But think about what you're saying. You're talking about changing the way that creative people who perhaps have been brought up thinking of this as an art and you're going to come in with a bunch of folks with spreadsheets and you're going to change the way they do things. This is what the CMO in, inside his or her organization of marketing needs to be the most aware of.